Hi guys and welcome back to another Dot Trace video and today we're going to be playing Ride 5 and today we're going to be checking out the brand new Ride 5 Short Track Pack. This is a premium pack at £7.99 or included within the Season Pass and you get 5 motorcycles and this track here with, which has 3 variants. This is the Blue Wave Short Circuit or the Blue Wave Track Arena I think it is and this is the shorter version and let me tell you it has been ages since we've been able to play a ride game that had super motos with a track that actually suits them and i've got to say this is fantastic this feels really cool i love this small style track which is perfect for these kind of motorcycles and honestly they feel completely different from everything we've had so far from all the bikes the dlcs this one definitely feels the most unique. Now there is some other parts to this one, of course you do have the super motard bikes such as the Husqvarna uh, FS450, the KTM450 SMR, the TM SMX super motard competizione and then of course two more motorcycles as well which are indeed scooters which I'm going to be showing you very very soon but so far so good. This is the short version of this track. I like the feeling of the TM but, uh, excuse me, of the Husqvarna, but I would like to move on to the next part because this is the most exciting, maybe? Also the craziest. So ladies and gentlemen, as we go off the track there in the autopilot, this is indeed a scooter within Ride 5. This is the Dragster, the Italjet Dragster 200cc. Now there is another scooter in this pack, but this is the first of two. And I've got to say, what a great little novelty thing. I think it's really cool. They handle terribly, <laughs> they're really slow, they're really sluggish, they can be upgraded but of course I think you're getting pretty much the maximum that you can within reason, but ultimately I think this is good for a cheap laugh, but I don't think I'll be using these bikes probably ever again. I, th I, I just know, I can see the comments already, can you please do this bike in the Nordschleife for three laps? S probably, <laughs> I hope not. But whoever gets that first, then yeah, pat yourself on the back, because I know it's coming, I can guarantee it. I've got to say, it's a, it's a cool idea, it really is. I love the idea of, um, of Milestone branching out to different things. Ride, of course, is the epiphany of bikes, in the sense of with computer games. There's a myriad of bikes, and just a plethora of different styles and machines and motorcycles, and this adds to the collection here in Ride 5, and I'm all for it, but I just know that probably not many people are going to enjoy it too much, but what I want to know is, can we wheelie? Doesn't feel like we can, but can we stop he? Go on! Oh, yes! <laughs> Looking like Top Rack Razgatlioglu on board the Dragster. Can't, I can't really get a wheelie out of it, but we'll try with the next motorcycle in a moment. So yes, your eyes do not deceive you, this is yet again another scooter. This is the Italjet Dragster 200cc. RM, so a racing modified version of the scooter. Is this going to be any better? Does it handle faster? Does it have the temerity of other motorcycles? No, of course it doesn't. It's just a little bit faster, but I mean, it does go up to 80 miles an hour, but I still can't imagine people vying for the opportunity to use this motorcycle again. <laughs> the novelty's there, it's fun. As I say, it adds to the experience. You've got loads of different bikes within Ride 5, but ultimately, it's still just a scooter that's dead slow, it's sluggish, it doesn't handle particularly well. Look how slow we have to take turn four here in the medium length distance of the uh, Blue Wave circuit. I don't know this track yet, so apologies if I'm going a little bit wide, but we do have three variants of this uh, track circuit, and of course this is the second option. I do think the name is something like medium or main course. I think it could be the long version that one of them is the main course. This could be main course, but either or, uh, all of the versions and variants of this track are great. Definitely would like to see more, because I would like to take some, maybe even the, some, some of the smaller motorcycles here, even try maybe the Yamaha R6 out in this track here. Maybe it could be very challenging. And even in itself, taking something as god-awful as the Hayabusa around these circuits could be very interesting as well. Now, of course, as mentioned already with these motorcycles, they all can be upgraded. Everything but the RM version of this bike it makes sense because, of course, it is a racing modified. It's already at its maximum preset. But ultimately, honestly, yeah, this is cool. I like it. I definitely will be coming to play these by myself. Maybe I make a few bits of content on it in, in general. But ultimately, I can't see everyone flocking to this game mode. I 
think it's a great addition, it's a great idea. I do like it, I think it's cool. But ultimately I can see a lot of people, the novelty wears off. I mean, the Super Motards in general, especially in Ride 4, they had no purpose. The tracks were never built for the Supermotos, and they, they were a little bit boring to use. But here in Ride 5, I think, I think they nailed it. We need more tracks like these, and I think ultimately we'll have a great short pack circuit variant of uh, different tracks and bikes. It would work well, but uh, ultimately we need bigger arenas, different styles of arenas, and uh, just a space to use the Supermotos. Uh, I think in Ride 3 they did it best where there was dedicated arenas and tracks. I think there wasn't that many, but there were still a few. And of course, now we have this, but uh, my goal here is to try and get this lap done. Hopefully we can improve on the 121.301. As you see, the time splits, it looks like we certainly will. So, of course, if you are enjoying the video so far, don't forget to subscribe. And of course, if you're really enjoying it, hit the like button as well, because it does help out the channel. But of course, we will conclude this part of the video, and we'll move back over to the Supermotos. But across the line with the scooter, the job well and truly done. So I want to take a look at the long course. This time we're going to be using the KTM. Oh goodness me, we're all over the place here. The autopilot has completely duped us there. So we're going to be doing a lap without any sort of validation lap. That's a shame, but okay, it is what it is. But this is of course the uh, KTM 450 SMR. Uh, the 690 was in the previous game, of course, excellent bike as well. But uh, this being the perfect supermoto bike, and I've got to say, it feels great. It feels really good. Re very responsive, good on the brakes, nice to throw around. It feels extremely fast, but I don't know if that's just because we've been using the dragster for a few moments. But this main course, I, I do like it. I think it's a great version of circuit. I I'm happy with this pack. I really am. I, I think it's a really good pack so far. And the biggest and most positive thing I can take away from this pack is that it's different. It's something unique. You know, we are quite used to getting the same sort of style of motorcycles, whether if it be the RM versions of one bike we've already had before, or if it's a bike we've already previously had, this is cool. I mean, yeah, these bikes are similar to what we've had, if not the same as we had in Ride 4, but with the illusion of the dragsters, I like it. I'm, I'm going to give this pack a thumbs up. I do like this pack very much. For £8, I think you get, what, three tracks? Yeah, it's relatively worth it, really, when you think about it. I mean, it, it work out as a pound per item. So it's not too bad. So I think I'm happy with that. I paid whatever it was, £32 for the season pass. So, so far, so good. I'm happy with the results. But we'll uh, we'll conclude this lap. And I think I fancy getting on with the race. But as I say, not too much to really talk about regarding the different supermotors. They, they all feel very much the same. The track's great. It's nice to slide the bike in. I would say that it's difficult to get used to. I think uh, if you try and break and to play like you would do with you normally play Ride 5 with different bikes, I think you're going to have a difficult time. You do need to sort of realise that you need to slide these bikes in. You don't have as much lean angle to get. I know this is going to sound really weird, but of course, the lean angle which you gain with these bikes can be easily crashed if you use any sort of trail brake or too much front brake. I, I, I tend to find with the bikes in Ride 5, there's, they're quite forgiving with the trail braking and even the use of the rear brake within the corners, but these seem a little bit more sensitive than the full bikes. I, maybe it's just me, I'm not really doing a very good job explaining it, but it certainly feels different. When you try it, you'll you'll understand what I mean. I did find a few times where I was in corners and I just felt like the bike was going to crash. And I would like to see the rider really lean across, like really get that knee down. You know, like some of the videos you see online where, uh, I think I see one recently with Dennis Hodger practicing in a very small circuit. They are flat to the floor and the bike is just getting shoved around the corners. It's amazing. So anyway, let's move on to a race. Now I think I made this one quite difficult for myself. I'm starting from 12th place in the grid and as you can see, 20 riders on this small circuit is going to be very difficult to get past. So I'm going to have to just absolutely go for it here. Full send if we can. Oh, a bit of contact as we go onto the rumble strip and around a couple of riders. Still making a lot of contact. There's bumping another one, but we do move all the way up to second place. And Owen Brown is leading the way. So firm on the anchors. I'm beginning to get the hang of this now. That You've got to go firm on the brakes first, get the rear tyres sliding and moving out of the way, and then just gradually bring on the brake. You can see at the bottom right corner of your screen how much, uh, how much brake is being applied. If you want to see exactly what I'm doing, you can see the sharp in, sharp press of, uh, of brake, that initial reaction, and then you can start gradually turning the bike in. Well, this is, of course, the smaller circuit, which I think, in fact, is my favourite version 
of this track. I do like this small version. It's it's very very friendly. It's very easy to pick up and play. But as we now charge into turn one, I don't think I'm confident enough to go for a lunge on Owen Brown there. But I do feel that we could get close enough here. Not really for a move around the outside. But we're closing in. And of course, this is against the 120% difficulty AI with the stock TM. Now, he's going to go a little bit deep there. I've noticed that from a few times, but I can't seem to get through. Can we go for a lunge? Oh, I'm stuck on him. I can't move. <laughs> I got completely stuck on him and I couldn't even move. I was trying to press the brake and it just, okay, it is what it is. But Rolando uh, Cunha de Souza has now taken over at the front. Owen Brown is no longer even in the podium position, so he, he really suffered from that moment. Nice and tight to the apex of turn nine. Got to be careful. It always feels like I'm going to crash whenever you touch any of the curbs here in the short wave of the circuit. As we were squeezing through, not quite open there. The door got slammed shut, but onto the brakes. Yes, up on the inside. He will have the inside line on board the Husky. Fighting back pretty good. I actually gave him space there in turn three. I was expecting a lunge. It never arrived. So we're still in the lead, for now at least, but onto the brakes. And into the difficult turn four. Went for a deeper line, giving him space. The man is coming through. Rolando. Ah, oh. <laughs> it's very messy, that corner, going into turn six. I'll tell you what, this, we've actually better hurry up here, because... We're on the final lap, and there's not many more overtaking spots, certainly nowhere on the brake, so I'm going to have to try and invent something if we need to, to the apex of here. Oh, it's a bit of a messy lunge, but it works. And now we're just stuck on each other, I can't even move. <laughs> I'm trying to push out of the way, but looks like the job is going to be done. So guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, let me know in the comment section down below, and also let me know what you think of the Short Pack DLC. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you tomorrow. Ciao for now. Oh, hi. Didn't quite see you there. Good to see you're still here. If this video didn't quite set your appetite, then why not watch some more Dot Race content by clicking the video shown on screen now. Furthermore, if you would like to follow me on social media, you can do so now with the links down in the description. Consider subscribing so you don't miss a single Dot Race video.